All right, I just got a package from UPS from Empire Arms. I'm going to unbox it here. Sorry you're zoomed in so close and kind of crooked. I, it's the best I can do right now because I have so many projects going here in my gun room that there's stuff sprawled out everywhere. I still got that Carcano all taken apart and laying everywhere. So this will have to be good enough for now. It's kind of hard to reach around this camera here. Oh well. The box has a pretty good bend in the middle. I'm hoping it's not damaged. Empire Arms is great, but man, their shipping is high. $50 to ship this thing. Right. I know you can't see anything, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a pretty short carbine, so once I get it out of here, it'll be a little more interesting to look at. Man, he packaged this good. That's one thing you can't deny about Dennis at Empire, man. He packs his stuff pretty nicely. Probably why the shipping's 50 bucks. All right, this was in there. I don't know what this is. Some kind of Empire Arms swag. Oh, cool. It's a little... Empire Arms work light or something. Oh, here's a battery. Cool. Neato. All right. Oh, if I can open this without gouging the rifle. Nice piece of cardboard over where the bolt is. This rifle is going to be quite an adventure because nobody even makes brass for it, let alone ammo. Hemberg 1911 Dutch M95 carbine. It's in pretty good shape. Some bluing wear, maybe a little, a couple little spots of surface rust. Will be another boil and card project for that. The receiver looks real nice. It's mostly just this. Man liquor, I know that's not how you really say it. Uh, magazine. This thing is pretty sweet. These are in 6.5 by 53 rimmed. I'm going to pause this real quick and go grab some dummy rounds and, uh, and end block clips. Okay. Uh, this is the end block clip that it takes. Kind of similar to a Carcano. These are some dummy rounds with, uh, you know, they can be used as snap caps that I bought off eBay. I haven't made any ammo for this yet. You have to convert 303 British brass to make this. So it's not easy. Because you're, you're necking down a 30 caliber down to 6.5. So it's really easy to collapse the brass, get dents in the brass. I do have an annealing machine. Uh, I made a video, a quick video on doing some 7.62x39. So that's going to help me out for sure. I bought one of those 3D printed single shot loaders for it. Here is 
about $400 worth of dies right here. I'm not joking. This is from CH Tool and Die. There you go. And these are the form and trim dies. There's two forming dies. That's form one. And then here's form two that actually nicks that 30 cal down to a 6.5. And then you're going to have a whole bunch sticking out. The neck is going to be super long after you do that neck down step. And this is a file trim die. So you push the case up into this and then you can use a file or a saw or whatever you have to trim it down on the top. That's kind of handy. They were out of full length sizing dies, but he said the form dies should get me close enough. And I have a uh, neck sizing die. So once I form these and fire them once, I'm just going to neck size them from then on. Help, help the brass last longer and be easier. And then here is the bullet seating die. I know you can form this caliber with uh, some people do like uh they take the 303 they size it in a 308 then they size it in a seven millimeter mauser then they size it in uh six five carcano i think maybe and that gets them close enough and that would have been way cheaper to do but the day that i ordered this rifle i guess i was feeling spendy so i got the actual form dies Oh wow, man, that is smooth as glass. Wow. I mean, that's like, that's like a uh, crag level smooth bolt right there. It just feels like it's on glass. And it's not even really, well, there's some oil in there, I guess. But that just feels really nice. I'm wondering if this is the, there we go. I, I honestly don't know a whole lot about this. It's going to be a learn as I go deal. I think that is the ejector. You got the extractor here, and once this bolt gets back, it kicks it out. So we got a 58, 58, sorry, 58. <clears throat> Or is it? Yeah, 58. Let's see, is the stock numbered anywhere? Oh, it's got a cool uh, cartouche there. Butt plate is going to need some work, but not bad. And look how funky the top handguard is. I was watching CN Arsenal. They did a video on this rifle. And he said they couldn't find any concrete evidence of why they did this but Othias thinks it's so when you put the bayonet on you can grab the bayonet and the handguard and it won't burn your hand if you're doing bayonet fighting I don't know if that's true but that's that was his guess and he's pretty smart so it's a 58 down there a 58 on there I'm guessing this comes apart similarly to the Carcano. Yeah, we got the two screws here. There was a form of this carbine made that was for bicycle troops. And it had a piece of wood that comes down over this part here. So when they had this rifle against their backs, that metal is kind of sharp there. And it wouldn't mess up their nice wool uniform. Stock looks pretty good. There are some areas that are going to need carded, but I don't see anything really deep. Man, look at the machine work in there. It's just so smooth. I am really impressed with the machine work in this thing. Let me check the bore real quick. Nice and shiny and sharp. 
I doubt I can get you a view. I just don't have room. I apologize, but it's trust me. It's nice Pretty cool little rear sight. I don't see any cracks in the stock That screw heads a little narfed up Got some markings on these screws not totally sure what those are this sucker is hard there's a little bit of of a chip there but it's nobody will see that it's like a crown and an e oh an h probably for the hemberg i'm guessing i'll learn more about this as i go no import mark all matching, nice bore, super smooth bolt. I think I did pretty good. This was six seventy-five. Uh, they're not a real common rifle. A lot of them have. Uh, I guess when they were imported, a lot of people and even some of the importers cut this off because they thought it looked funny. So finding one with the full top hand guard is a little less common I guess but there was like 14 or more versions of this made just the you should really go watch the CN Arsenal episode on Dutch M95 carbines he goes over a lot of the stuff and it's pretty interesting story about how they well, how they uh, made so many variants and why they made them and Every different branch was wanting different aspects on their gun. And they couldn't all agree, so they just kept making these <clears throat> different versions. So that is pretty sweet. It's going to be a reloading adventure. I'm going to try to maybe get some, make a video on how to reload for it. Once I get it figured out, it's going to, I'm not going to make a video of my first try or anything like that, or I'll look like an idiot. Once I get a everything down and I prove that the rounds work then I'll probably make a video on it uh, where my reloading presses are is a hard spot to film at in my gun room is kind of a small room it's just a spare bedroom in a little house and so I'm really cramped in here because I got this workbench I got my reloading bench I've got an oven for baking uh, powder coated bullets I've got big file cabinets with ammo I got a bookshelf full of chemicals <laughs> a shelf of all my reloading dies I reload for probably 30 calibers I'd say so I'm really cramped in this room so it's kind of hard for me to get good footage but this guy makes these uh snap caps and dummy rounds on eBay and some of them he puts there's an option when you check out here we go that he can put BBs in it so that it makes a sound when you shake it I, so I guess one of mine ended up being like that oh two of them so three of them aren't and two of them are I don't really care but oops I uh so I have some, so he made this out of PPU. Let me try, because uh, some people say, is this gonna fit? Dude, that doesn't even fit in there. Am I going the wrong way? That should be the right orientation. I don't know if I'm having an idiot. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put these back in the stripper clip. I apologize. That just did not seem to want to fit. I want to try to chamber around because people said PPU, the base down here, is too. Uh, the diameter is too large and it won't chamber unless you shave off some 
uh, the Koba 49 has a video about it and he puts his in a lathe and takes a file as this is spinning and shaves down here because your sizing die can't get all the way down there but they said that Remington and Winchester brass 303 British has a smaller base so you can use it so I ordered a uh, hundred pieces of once fired Remington 303 yeah see that won't even close because that PPU brass is too big at the base so the dude that makes these uh, maybe they'll chamber in some rifles but not in mine yeah that's exactly why that's not closing because this base is too large so these are kind of useless uh, I can shave them down I was hoping these would be like good that I could use measure them and uh, use them as a guide when I'm loading this myself but yeah that's all PPU and I've heard that's an issue so that's confirmed you know all maybe some rifles have a little more generous chamber and those will work fine but my rifle is pretty tight and those suckers were not closing I mean I put a lot of force on there if it was close it would have squeezed it in there but it's not even close so that's my new rifle carbine uh, I'm mostly bought it just for the challenge of reloading it oh it looks like I have a non matching part there 33 because it's 58 that's 58 that's 58 then we got a 33 well that's a bummer it's supposed to be all matching uh, that doesn't make me very happy uh, Dennis must have just missed that I guess because he's usually his descriptions are usually you know you can pretty much rely on it I'm not gonna lose sleep over it still a cool gun it's gonna be fun to load for uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'm gonna get I've got some stuff to take care of and then I'm going to get to putting that Carcano back together and get some uh, footage of the finished product on that. And for now, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.